So, hi, I'm Marie Kaufman, and I basically made a presentation through uh, about the C++ project I made that was fabricated to help students in algebra who are struggling, and it's supposed to give them a math tutorial uh, on how basic algebra works. Uh, Students were given the responsibility to employ the basic knowledge of C++ into this code and we implemented the the new the new um, lessons that we learned in C++ to be able to make a code that's interactive. Mm -hmm. um, we were first asked to make a program that helps students or helps in the in an academic field and so I decided in algebra because I thought that many students struggle in math mm -hmm. yeah that, that is uh, a major concern and the fact that that tutors aren't usually that accessible if you because um, people have sports and people like they need to go home and do their other homework mm -hmm. So it's like a quick way to review. Okay. Here is the one of the images of the a screenshot. Yes, it's a screenshot of the code that I made and it basically works on the if else statements and we I use AP string word and you programmed it. So when you put word and you said if it equals to a certain word, then it would respond with a certain answer. So the program asks if it can if if it un, if the person understands the lesson and if they say yes then it'll say okay moving on and it registers that it doesn't need to explain mm -hmm. and it gets the steps okay. but if the person answers anything else it'll interpret it as a no so they'll it, it um allows it, it activates another part of the code where it shows the explanation of how it got to that part. Okay. And here's another screenshot in the bottom. Yep. And it tells you when you're done, like, good luck in algebra because it, like, positive reinforcement is always needed. Oh, absolutely. I agree. By the way, you're doing a fine, a really good job with this presentation so far. Thank you. Thank you. And first here, I'll sh I sh um, it shows a present. A screenshot of the, the output, the output mm -hmm. but this output is specified by a person like made and it sh it's showing a person who understands all of the material mm -hmm. so the coding the the output is significantly shorter because it doesn't need to explain to the person mm -hmm. but it still shows you the steps and how to get to it if there's a they're a faster learner is there a particular age group that you're intending the audience for this App to be. I, t I intend for the age group to be from seventh, sixth to seventh grade, okay. up to ninth grade because that's typically when students learn are starting to learn algebra. Like in yeah. sixth grade, students <laughs> are starting with pre-algebra, and it's like a, a stepping stone to be able to go into seventh grade algebra if you're in advanced, or in ninth grade if you're still struggling with basic concepts. Right. So that's the age where there seems to be a major transition and mathematics from more concrete concepts to more abstract concepts. Yeah, because they're first starting to integrate the the variables and how like what how to find it and like to divide specifically for a certain variable. Oh, absolutely. Uh, the idea of trying to find a fixed number based on unknown quantities is something that uh, is very abstract for students that age. Okay. Here is another screenshot of the output where a person um, puts a, like an else statement instead of an if. It, they inputted a word that the computer did not register as a yes or an affirmative, so it displays longer lines of code to help explain the person right. what's going on. So here it's significantly longer code that shows the person like step by step and it goes a little slower and it like explains what's happening in each line. Okay. And 
to show a person who gets most of the material but doesn't understand some, like it's half and half they understand but then suddenly they don't get it, it shows that the output won't spaz out because you didn't put, because you didn't put like a certain output. Right. And they, you can like vary from like, like affirmative to like not understanding. Mm -hmm. And here, yeah. This is your output? Yeah, this is the output, and it's showing you like all the three types of outputs that could happen. Okay. So take me through this. What is what are we seeing? Right now we're seeing a person like a person is told to like put like the word yes if they understand and they're putting all of the words cuz they understand all of the material. Uh-huh. And they're not struggling so they keep on typing in the words and so the program ends faster because they have no need to explain. Okay. For the second one right now uh -huh. it's showing the person like if the person doesn't understand and they put a word other than like yes mm -hmm. or I get it then they'll take them through a longer route but it'll okay. show them like word step by word by what's step, happening step by step how to solve that linear equation for mm -hmm. example okay now how many different types of uh, um, equations or concepts does this app cover at this point this app covers at first, I would like to add more equations, but at, this is like, it's showing you like the, the simplest algebraic equation that, mm -hmm. that can still like teach you something at the same time. Right. So here it's showing you that you, you're adding like different variables and different mm -hmm. statements and some of them register as like positive and some of them are like mm -hmm. the other output. Right. And it's showing that it didn't like like malfunction because of that. And um, what, what else could you do with this, um, with this application? What, how do you see yourself um, improving on this application in the future? In the future, I see myself um, adding more algebraic equations mm -hmm. and um, making them more complex. Like it'll be like kind of like a ladder sequence where the person will step, step up if they understand, but then they'll have more um, same level or lower level codes, if, I mean lower level linear equations if they don't understand. Uh, so uh, this idea of doing different levels within your program, that sounds a lot also like a game. So you may want to consider, Marine, um, maybe doing a math game where the uh, level of engagement might increase um, and at the same time the learning still takes place because you're you're having the student go through different concepts and different levels of concepts but by completing different tasks in the game yeah so the student will actually want to learn and right. like want to get a good score the, the same way a student would want to continue playing a game that's difficult because of the uh, feedback that they're getting some uh, real time and the reward that they're getting as they're progressing through the game, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alrighty. Then, um, for the last slide, I wanted to review the benefits. Okay. So I was saying, not only does this math tutor allow struggling students to help in algebra, right? But it also allows C++ coders to experiment with the language of C++ that they were first introduced to. So it allows both sides of the problem to learn. Okay. So in turn, the C++ coders, like, they learn to be more proficient at Java coding and C++, and the algebra students, they learn, they, they learn, like, they're easy, it's easier to learn algebra for them. Okay. So there, there's an interdisciplinary uh, component to this, um, to this program. Yeah, it's beneficial. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, Marie, outstanding, outstanding presentation. Um, I will go ahead and upload it to YouTube and uh, please share with your math instructor and your family, okay? Okay, thank you. Very good. Excellent.